S tier? So many people angry about the Sojourner. I get it. Oh, hello there. My name is Fallout. Thank you for tuning into the channel today. And we have kind of an interesting video idea. Let me give you a little peek behind the content curtain. Every time I do a tier list or ranking video of any kind, the views are usually pretty poppin'. People really do enjoy tier lists. The comments are usually all over the map. You either have people agreeing pretty hard or disagreeing very hard to the point where they are frustrated. And I think I've gotten a lot of my most interesting comments on tier list videos on the YouTube channel. So kind of recently I put out my shotgun tier list on the channel that I put a lot of work into. We did hit 4,000 subs on the Twitch channel and I had that as kind of a goal. We made the video. I did not check any of the comments because I figured it would be an absolute nightmare. But our lovely video editor, Maggie, say hi, Maggie, <laughs> went ahead and went through and pulled out some interesting comments that I should read for a YouTube video. Uh, let's see what y'all had to say. Fallout, why did you blur out the whole chart with every ranking? <laughs> Not everyone wants to sit through 30 minutes of dialogue and reasoning, so people just want to know what's what. Ah, oh, God, okay, I feel really bad about this one, but ah, oh, you don't know what it's like to be a YouTuber, man. History lesson. Way back in the day when I did a lot more content back in D1 focused on like shotgun one hit kill range, I would put the video up on Twitter and some people immediately within four minutes of the video going live, it would take a screenshot of the tier list and they would just reply to the tweet on Twitter and be like, boom, saved you a click. People would literally just whoosh, skip to the end. They would take a screenshot of the final result. And then they would make judgments and they would yell at me on Reddit and on Twitter. And it's like, I mentioned what you're yelling at me about in the video, but you didn't listen to the video. You just skipped all the way to the end and you took a screenshot. It's my job, man. You're killing me. You've done the one thing you swore to destroy. You were supposed to leave shotguns in the darkness, not join them. You're content creator fallout. Thought you didn't want to make any more shotgun content. I don't, I don't. It really annoys me. I should not be saying this out loud, by the way. When I'm being referenced anywhere and people are like, who, fallout? Oh, you mean the shotgun guy? <laughs> There's just so many videos that we have on the channel now that are so far beyond what the channel originally was. You know, the video with me and Datto with the vault roast, the video where we went back to D1 and did old raids. So it's just funny, honey, wake up, shotgun man. <laughs> Motherfuck, this is exactly what I was talking about. If people know me as the shotgun guy, I should be fucking counting my lucky stars that people know me at all. It's like little Captain Jack Sparrow. Ah, but you have heard of me. Three things are certain in life. Death, taxes, and fallout saying he's never making a shotgun video again. <laughs> making one anyways. I should not have let Maggie pick these comments. <laughs> Half an hour, fuck. Long content can be brutal. But then again, shockingly, I had a lot of really good feedback from some people on the more long form content that we've been uploading to the channel. We had a video that we put out. It's like a new player intro to D2 guide. It's over four hours long. There's a YouTuber who I really love to watch. I highly recommend him if you're into Dead by Daylight at all. His name is Ots Darva. He'll do multi hour long videos explaining every killer perk, every survivor perk. So I thought, I could do it too. And the reaction has been pretty good. We've had a ton of people coming into Twitch chat saying like, oh, I watched every minute of that, uh, every weapon perk video. I watched the whole thing of the new player uh, guide, even though it was four hours long. <laughs> Moving forward. Haven't watched the vid yet. If he puts duality below a tier, I'm gonna flip. <laughs> we had a big argument with my Twitch chat about where we should put the duality. Every time I mention the chaperone, people are always saying, but what about duality? To me, look, duality is good, but the chaperone is really just king. When you get Roadborne activated, which is far easier to activate than the uh, duality unique perk, which if I remember correctly, requires hipfire activation. Chaperone is just absurdly, disgustingly good. Fallout over here doing every tier list except for the Titan exotics. Motherfucker, dude, I knew that somebody, I've been avoiding the comment section of my YouTube videos lately. Lately, a lot of people trying to roast me for, and look, I get it, man. I, I did the Warlock exotic video. I did the Hunter exotic video and then nothing for the Titans. I promise you we are working on it. I swear, I swear, 
I will have that video up before Witch Queen. Mad respect, bro. This amount of suffering shouldn't be bestowed on any human. The pain doesn't come in <laughs> with comparing them and all that stuff. The, com the pain comes when people come into Twitch chat and say things like, Oh, you made that tier list? Yeah, it was fucking garbage, bro. Literally everything was wrong. <laughs> Like, okay, you make one. Fallout the Absolute Demon. Can't believe he would flip shotguns horizontally in the thumbnail, <laughs> so it would be harder to make them out through the blur. You caught that, huh? I'm impressed. Yeah, again, this goes back to the first comment that we had, that we read. Um, dude, people will do anything. People will do anything to spoil the information in a YouTube video. Content game be rough sometimes. Push his glasses up. Uh, technically, you only need to pull the trigger once on rapid fire shotties since they are intrinsically full auto. All right, fair. You know what I'm driving at though. You gotta fire two shots in order to get the kill. For most times, unless you're like this far away from the other guy, you gotta hit him with two shots. Okay, you don't need to pull the trigger twice. You got me, it's true. Yay, shotguns. Hey, this isn't the Titan exotic tier list. Every video. I think the one thing that makes the Icolo somewhat appealing to me is the fact that it can roll with some barrel perks that no other pellet shotguns can have, such as full bore. I know a lot of shotties you can kind of nitpick with a little bit. Sometimes they'll bring something unique to the table that others won't have, either like a specific perk or even a type of like the, the sight looks a little different or you're talking different barrels, stuff like that. So yeah, it. You can definitely split hairs. A S tier shotgun, bite of the fox with hip fire grip, opening shot free and <laughs> two times sniper targeting. Hmm. I've always been interested if there really is one particular weapon that you could completely take into meme territory in unexpected manners, like a, sh like a, like a sniper that you could turn into essentially a shotgun. Shocker, I have no sniper with hip fire grip opening shot. I will keep an eye out for that though, I promise you. Fallout, I'm never going to make another sh <laughs> Wow, I wonder how my favorite shotgun one small step will do in this tier list. <laughs> oh man, did I put that one at the very bottom? Man, I'm really curious. I want to sit down with this guy. Why is that your favorite shotgun? Uh, what does that bring to the table? I, is it a visual thing? Does it look cool to you, bro? Does it look dope? <laughs> I don't know. Sojourner's Tale isn't at least A tier. I swear, edit fair enough. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, fair enough. I'm a little lost, but fair enough. It's, it depends on the player. It depends on how you play PvP. It depends on a lot of things. It depends on the competition, what shotguns you have unlocked, all that bull crap. Mad about Sojourner's Tale. Moving target and opening shot make its aim assist a non-issue. A non-issue? I recently crossed 1,000 Crucible kills with that roll. Blasphemer sucks. Uh, Blasphemer does not suck. If you love the Sojourner's Tale, pop off, my dude. I uh, I strongly disagree that the Blast Bomber sucks. I think it's a great shotgun. Sojourner is the best shotgun in the game with a god roll. I love it. You know, there was a part of me that just knew that if I put Sojourners in like, in even if I put it high in B tier, that people were gonna grill me about it. Hey man, I feel the way I feel. You make your own tier list, all right? If you suck at the game, use Chaperone. If you're good at the game, <laughs> use the Chaperone. If you wanna feel like you're good at the game, use the Chaperone. <laughs> If you play Trials, use the Chaperone. If you hate yourself, use the Chaperone. It's, it's not lying. I mean, I when you use that gun, you feel like you're on a different level. Sojourn, oh man, there's so many comments about the Sojourner's Tale. Sojourner's Tale and B tier hurt me so much. I got 3,000 kills, threat detector with opening. That's a good roll, yeah. It's very good, but maybe it's not your taste and I respect that. Oh, damn. Well, they had us in the first half, not gonna lie. I thought I was going to get chewed out. Dude, it's really rough. There's a lot of strong competition for legendary slug shotties. I really think that the Blasphemer and the Heritage are super good on paper. Maybe I was too harsh to Sojourners. Maybe instead of being at the bottom of B tier, or the top of B tier, maybe it belonged in the in mid to low A tier. I don't know. Two perks I'd say you're undervaluing missed out on specific shotties. Firmly planted on the Bone Chiller, okay. Bumps handling and accuracy when sliding crouched. That is true. Uh, opening shot and firmly planted on bone chiller is slept on. And two, by the way, I don't have that roll. Would love to try that roll at. I think I do have firmly planted. I don't think I have the combo with opening shot though. Can't remember. 
And two, Celerity on Astral Horizon. Don't forget it gives a static 20 handling right out of the gate. You know what, Bionic? I'm gonna give you that. I think you're right on both counts. To talk about the Bone Chiller, there's something about the Bone Chiller that, again, I mentioned it in the video. I just don't like about it. I think that the gun is really big and bulky. Uh, to me, it takes up too much of the screen when I try to ADS. I will give it to you that I don't have as many rolls on the Bone Chiller as I like. I only have a handful. I do personally feel that the Sojourner is better than the Bone Chiller. Yeah, you know what? I'll give it to you on, on Celerity. I really, really like handling on shotguns. I should have given more of a shout out to that perk. I used to be really into range on shotguns. Again, like back in the day in D1, all my videos talked about like one hit kill range, the value of one hit kill range. But Bungie over the years has continually, repeatedly nerfed one hit kill range. And now I'm all about handling. Yeah, range is still important. I kind of value impact more. But when I have a shotgun like Astral, I'm trying to pump up the handling because usually the way I do in PvP is I'll get like one shot with a hand cannon or whatever, you kind of blint them a little bit and then you hot swap over to your shotgun for the easiest cleanup kill of your life and handling is going to be hugely important in you getting that done. So Bionic, I will give you a thumbs up, extra credit on that comment. Any shotgun works and they also take no skill. <laughs> I don't like when people say that things take no skill, it, the, specifically the word no. If you were to compare a, a sniper and a shotgun in what takes more talent to execute well at high level PVP, I'm going to give it to the sniper. Uh, you need to be very accurate. You need to essentially pinpoint the head or you're going to whiff and get a body shot, which can still lead to a kill. I do agree that shotguns take less skill. They take some skill. You still need to know when to ape, when to challenge, when to use cover, when to blint, when to rush with your primary, hot swap to shotgun, when to lead with your shotgun, fade back, hot swap to a primary. There's things that you actually have to use your brain for. But yeah, I just don't like the when people say no skill. Fallout, just got to say you're such an innately enjoyable person to watch. I needed that. The only thing I heavily disagree on is Sojourners. <laughs> I'm getting railed over the Sojourner's placement, man. I think it's the best legendary slug shotty in the game, even though you only start out with 36 aim assist, you have access to moving target and opening shot. Man, I'm, I'm doubting myself. This is what happens. Perhaps I was too harsh. Let's be honest, he only made this video because he had to have an excuse to keep that toilet in trouble in his fault. I hate, hate when I'm live on Twitch opening up my vault or postmaster for any reason. 100% of the time, you're gonna get some guy in the comment section talking about what the fuck is wrong with you? Why does your vault look like that? Why do you have repeats of all these guns? It's like, look, man, I get it. It's stupid. Yeah, is it dumb that I have like three toil and troubles? Yeah, that's dumb. But I also, this is my job. I do this for a living. I'm a full-time content creator. So yeah, I'm gonna have my vault packed to the brim with random shit if it's gonna help me make quasi-informed videos like the tier list video. Do I wish I could throw all that garbage away into the trash can? Yeah, I really do. I think you accidentally included a sniper in S plus tier. <laughs> yeah, Chaperone is really gross. Philo 27 aim assist, bruh, say it to my hip fire grip opening, wait, plus opening shot, targeting adjuster, shotgun, targeting Philo. It's literally chaperone. It's literally chaperone. Can I do all the math right now to see what aim assist that would get to? Have I told you that a lot of my videos back in the day in D1 were literally created out of spite? Someone would say something to me and I'd be like, really? Is that really the way it is? And I would just do the math. So we have 27 aim assist yeah, according to D2 Gunsmith, which I, which I don't know if that's correct uh, or not. 15 aim assist from hip fire grip. Who knows if that's correct? Uh, plus opening shot. According 62, targeting adjuster, I think is 10. I mean, that does take it up mathematically to 72 aim assist, but you have to hip fire. Hey man, I'll give it to you. If you have that role, I don't currently have that role, but I will keep an eye out for that very psychotic combination that you seem to be running. If you're watching today's video, if you have gameplay footage of you using that crazy Philo in PVP, I would love to take a look. Love to take a gander, as it were, see how good you do with that, because you do have my attention. I'm in love with lightweights. I think it's because I'm a controller player on PC, so having the handling and the movement speed makes up for the lack of mouse. True. A lot of the time for me, I've moved on from trying to get one hit kills, unless the person is absurdly close to me, or if I'm using a slug shotgun. If I'm using a spread shotgun, for the most part, it's either going to be a primary hot swap into a shotgun or a, a shotgun hot swap into a primary finisher. 
But I agree that I do really enjoy lightweights when I play on controller. Comedian commentary is gold. Thanks for letting me know I can delete my deicide and xenoclast PvP roles. Every vault space matters. That is true. Uh, I do try to not delete too much, as you probably very much well know. Because I do think that at any time, Bungie could come out and be like, Hey, we, we've determined that this frame of shotgun is bad, so we're going to buff it. And then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, it becomes crazy good. But, uh... Yeah, the comedian, man. What a goddamn letdown. Now that it's been mentioned, I really wish that Legend of Acreus got a rework to its second trait perk. I don't even know what the fuck that is. I just don't see Acreus being worth keeping in the heavy slot if they don't change some stuff. Yeah, neither do I. Acreus used to be really, really good in the early days of PvP. Damn good. If you're gonna put on a power weapon in PvP that's an exotic, I'm just gonna go with like the Ward Cliff Coil or I don't know, a couple other things that are really just going to be way, way easier to pull off a kill. The only reason I don't use Chaperone over Felwinter is that I don't have a legendary energy primary to use with it in PvP. Ah, yes. Oh, dude, Palindrome. Uh, Palindrome is a perfect, perfect pairing if you are a lover of hand cannons, which many people are. Palindrome, I still think, is probably the number one legendary hand cannon in the game. Come at me. Fate bringer bros. Also, if you have the darkest before, if you're like a fan of pulse rifles, I'm a big, big fan of the darkest before. Great primary, super easy to win 1v1 duels with at mid range. Just put on a full auto weapon mod and you're good to go. These Acreus placement, I've never been so offended by something I completely agree with. Uh, yeah, man, pour one out for the uh, for the Acreus boys at home. Yeah, once that piece of shit. <laughs> get nerfed to the ground. Us fusion rifle mains will be the undisputed kings of crucible. Man, as of the recording of today's video, uh, main ingredient is the number one most used weapon in trials right now. Uh, it overtook Chaperon, which is crazy. I never thought I would see a fusion rifle at the number one most used weapon in trials. It's kind of crazy. Own chiller A tier. Spend a little time with it and that clunky feeling look goes away, but it does show a whole in energy shotties being the only slug gun with good aim assist. I really try to make sure I'm doing a fair amount of legwork for these videos. I'm not just trying to bullshit my way through content or anything like that. I tried like maybe five, I wanna say different roles. Also speaking with other content creators about the bone chiller. Yeah, there's just something about it. You know when you have weapons that there's just something about the feel that you can't put your finger on. Two things I'm getting from a lot of these comments. One, I need to give more love to the Sojourner. And two, I need to give more love to the Bone Chiller. So honestly, the only thing I'm mad about is you dissing the Matrix sequence. <laughs> Reloaded and Revolution weren't that bad. Eh. Man, I have a friend, mother, dude, I swear to God, I have gotten into the weirdest arguments with this guy. He's Mega Magwitch, he's a big movie guy. The Matrix movies are like his favorite movies ever. And like, when I first found that out about him, I was like, oh, you mean the first one, right? He was like, no, all of them. Come on, can we all agree that the first Matrix is super good and the rest are just mediocre? Come on. Really appreciate how he rated each gun on its own performance and didn't just do the easy thing and compare them to each other. Thank you for saying that, by the way. Uh, I tried to make a bunch of different factors when putting the video together. Uh, yeah, it's, it's difficult. Like, what do you look for? Because I wouldn't, if Cami or whoever made a tier list and they were like, yeah, we're going to rank each shotgun only on their most powerful role that you can get. I'm like, okay, you know what? I'd watch that, like an upper ceiling tier list or something like that. I feel like there's many ways you could do a tier list. There's always different ways. As long as you have the ability to back up what you're saying to some degree, I think you can get away with whatever version of a tier list you want to make. We can't screenshot the full list. No, forgot Cerberus, the shotgun with an identity crisis. It's a very interesting gun. I've been using it lately just to kind of troll people with. I might make a video on that in the future. Super trolly gun, like, yeah, an auto rifle, but yeah. It's kind of an auto rifle in the same way that Bastion is a fusion rifle. Sojourner's tail should be at least A tier. I would even argue S tier. I get it, man. All right, so many people angry about the Sojourner. I get it. After every meal I pray and after every crucible match, I pray, I get on my hands and knees and look up at the sky at Bungie praying they will be merciful and will accept my faith, praying they don't smite the rage of the chaperone and take the aim assist as tribute instead. I think that might be for a lot of people a fair compromise. Yeah, take the aim assist down, but keep the range because that way at least 
it would still feel like you're being rewarded for getting kills with an exotic weapon and the ceiling potential would be still quite high, but you need to be much more accurate. I feel like it's so hard to miss with the chaperone these days. At least I'm consistent, unlike shotguns, am I right? Golden rule, shotguns are inconsistent. It's a long time channel viewer right there. Appreciate you. Completely agree with the tier list. I managed to get quick draw, snapshot retro, and it's surprisingly decent for the gun that I've stayed away from. I've heard from a lot of people who have stayed away from guns they didn't think they'd be into, and then later found out that like, oh man, this shit is awesome. You're absolutely right when you said some people would be mad about that Sojourner's Tale was in B tier instead of A. I feel like next week I should do an all Sojourner week. Would you guys like that? If I did shotguns only for a week before Witch Queen, only Sojourner, maybe throw the Bone Chiller in there too. But you're challenging me to use Chaperone and not doing well. Clearly you've never seen a potato playing Destiny before. <laughs> hey man, probably no worse than watching me snipe on M and K. Genuine question here, why is Felwinter's ranked higher than Time Lost Found Verdict? The shot package makes a little bit of a difference for sure. I don't think it makes a tremendous difference. Literally anyone can go into the tower and pick up a Felwinter. There's no grinding. There is no RNG uh, in what you'll get for a roll. You just walk in and pick it up and it's right out of the box. Amazing. I like the Hobbit. <laughs> I remember using Toil and Trouble as a poor man's Astral Horizon. Being one of the few options at the time, it did pretty well with Threat Detector and Snapshot to help his poor handling set. There were a lot of guns back in the day that were kind of like good to use as a poor man's version of blank. Oh uh, man, oh, there was a green shotgun way back in early D2. The hand in hand, uh, way back in the day, that was a great shotgun, which actually outperformed uh, a lot of legendary options at the time. I used it for a, for a long while. I'm always on the lookout to see if Bungie's gonna add like a new blue weapon, which will strangely magically outperform a legendary weapon. Hasn't happened in a while though. I had no clue you could get the Felwinters from the kiosk at the tower. Really? <laughs> Shit. Not gonna lie, I half expected the intro to just be <laughs> screaming in pains. I'm happy with our level of dedication to in-game content on the YouTube channel right now. I, I don't know if in the future we're gonna have a lot more videos of what we had back in the old days where I'm in a private lobby doing a bunch of insanely monotonous pellet spread testing. I really don't like doing that. It, it takes so much time to put together. And sometimes the videos don't even, they're not received well. And uh, they just cause a lot of arguing and stuff like that. I don't know. Uh, there might be shotgun content in the Witch Queen, depending on what we get, but it, it might not be the same level of what we had back in D1. The TLDR, I'm really happy with the type of content we make now. I still think we make informative content. I still think we make funny, entertaining content here on the channel. Uh, I'm happy with where we are in 2022. Thanks for your comments, everybody. Uh, two main takeaways. Man, I gotta give more time in PvP with the Sojourner and apparently the Bone Chiller. I thought I gave pretty good reasoning. Apparently, uh, at least a handful of people are hard disagreeing, I would say. But thanks very much. Appreciate it. Let me know down in the comment section if you want me to do a tier list for other stuff in 2022, Destiny 2 or otherwise. No matter what you want me to do, I appreciate hearing from people. I love the feedback that we have as a community. Please sub to our YouTube channel if you haven't already. We hit 450k recently, which is really awesome. Hoping to hit half a million in 2022. And there are a bunch of other games coming out after Witch Queen that I'm interested in checking out as well. I want to do more 50 games of blank for the channel. I've really been enjoying doing those videos. Anything that you want from me content wise, you let me know down in the comment section. Check out our Twitch channel where we stream every week and do check out my Patreon as well. Super big appreciation to all of you. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.